It's um, not the industry that I thought I was getting into when I got out of college. Waltham News Tribune editor Andy Merritt faces an uphill climb in an increasingly gloomy world of dwindling ad revenues, free online news sites, and fewer print subscriptions. The Trib is one of roughly a dozen newspapers that are published out of the Gatehouse Media Office in Needham, not far from Merritt's home in Newton. Gatehouse owns hundreds of papers across the region and nationwide. Merritt was originally a Gatehouse sports writer who still moonlights as a hockey writer, a pastime he took up after realizing he wouldn't make the NHL. And it turns out you need to know how to skate backwards to play professional hockey. The UMass Amherst alum discovered he had a knack for editing too and took over as editor in July 2010. Since then, the leaner and meaner paper has gone from two city reporters to one and switched to publishing to only one day a week. As much as we hate to um, pull the newspaper back in any way, shape or form, um, ultimately we felt it was the best decision to help us do our jobs better. To balance the demands of online and print readers, updates are posted immediately to the website then sculpted into more detailed stories by the time the print edition is published on Friday. You know, there was breaking news that happened over the weekend. Well, by the time the paper comes out on Friday, that's not the news. And we often will have a story that appears on our website Monday afternoon that then gets turned around and sort of uh, reimagined and rewritten um, with a different perspective for the paper itself. Um, because by that time, the story has changed. Then there's Waltham Patch, an ambitious online upstart run entirely by caffeine freak Ryan Granin Dahl. I don't want to pump his tires too much, but. Um, but no, he's, he's done a great job, especially as a single editor sort of running the show by himself. One of many so-called hyper-local websites owned by AOL, Waltham Patch is unburdened by the demands of a print version. But with more than 100 years history in Waltham, Merritt is confident the Trib can out-deliver the newcomer. We'll have it first most of the time, as much as we can, and we'll have it better, but, um, but certainly there's an alternative as well, and, and we like that there's a, a little bit of a challenge there, certainly. The Trib has responded with a popular blog of its own, Brand New Watch, by Gatehouse photo editor Jim Walker, with posts about store openings, noteworthy people, and other topics of interest to locals, if not necessarily hard news. Jim lives in Waltham and, and knows the city better than I do in a lot of ways. I get, you know, a call once a week, it seems like, with someone who says, hey, you know, that, that blog is really good. So will Waltham adopt Twitter and Facebook for news as Merritt has? It's as unclear as the future of the paper. But this editor's commitment to old school principles is admirable. When asked why he got into the biz, he tips his hat to a formative experience growing up in the Framingham Holliston area. When I was a kid, my dad read the newspaper every day. And I thought, if my dad reads it, it must be important. For Waltham Newswatch, I'm Chris Wangler.